you know, there's, there's some tools out there that can be used as a contractor. The contract documents are our Bible. Like if it's in the specifications or it's in the drawings, that's a contract document for us. We have to execute what's there. And so, you know, for architects, they can write these things into their specs. They can either write recovery language or they can specify specific materials. Um, and, and I know you and I have spoken about great companies like Doors Unhinged. They're they're receiving yes. the doors, but then they're also refurbishing them and they're contacting people and saying, can you put these in, our, in your specs? Um, so as architects are trying to meet their AIA 2030 commitments uh, and other materials commitments, I think they're going to start trying to figure out how to close some of the loopholes that are in the industry that are preventing them from being able to specify reused materials. And then that empowers us as the contractor to, to purchase and use them. And so I think there's, um, there's some great movement um, coming. Also, um, the whole ESG movement, um, people are having to report. And when you're looking at reused um, materials, you're looking at avoided carbon. And so capturing that tiger by the tail and being to say, hey, we, we avoided this much embodied carbon because we reused these structural members. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. And I think so much too that at least I speak about sometimes is, is really about not only is something going to be of value and there might be a dollar value associated with a particular material type or, or item, but I, I'm a true believer that there's going to be more decision-making based on that carbon value. Um, and that that's actually in even some cases might outweigh um, the, the value of, of the material itself where it's like, no, 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 we know that we'll pay five cents extra per whatever type of unit of me- or unit metric, but uh, it's still worth it. And it's still actually because of, of the type of return that we might get on either the certification of a building or the, the cost associated with hopefully someday with, with carbon itself. Um, so that could, that could be huge. Yeah.